Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I'm your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Libra in March 2019. Hello, Libra. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, anyway, shuffled off camera. That's your main spread there. We'll shuffle now for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the board, that is when the reading begins. If you want to jump ahead... There is a timestamp down in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, there is information on how to do that in the description box below. Readings are $25. Send me an email with your questions. And then I say, okay, I wait for your payment. And then once the payment is received, you get your video. It's that simple. Okay. But if it's uh, a little, you know, if you have a question or you need something clarified, go ahead and email me a question as well. I will be happy to answer it for you. And then we can work together. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to shuffle now for your outcome and your overall energy, okay? Outcome for Libra in March 2019, please. Picking it? I started to pick them a little bit sometimes. Stop. Okay. Boom. There you go. That's nice. And bottom of the deck is your overall. Only one came face down. Let's see what it was, huh? Hello. There you are. Well, maybe. Maybe it's you. We'll find out. All right, guys. How are we looking? Nice and neat. That's beautiful. All right, guys, <laughs> let's get started. Please show me where Libra is in March 2019. Please show me Libra in March 2019. Please show me Libra in March. Mm. That was unclear. One second. Yes, okay. Thank you. I was like, are you sure? There we go. All right, guys. Coming in. You come in as the Five of Swords in reverse. Well, well, well. Look who grew up. <laughs> Or someone around you is growing up. Uh, I'll show you this card upright so you can become used to it. This is the Happy Tarot deck in case you're wondering. Uh, but if you're familiar with tarot, you're familiar with what this is. This is a card uh, in the upright of petty arguments and scuffles and disagreements and all that kind of stuff. And with it being in the reverse, again, reverses, reverses, reversals are not always the opposite but in this case, I'm feeling it pretty much is for you, Libra. I'm feeling that you're putting something down. If someone, you or someone else, is like wanting to argue, wanting to cause frustrations and headaches, and you know, there's just incredible disagreements going on, someone, you know, wants to argue for the sake of argument, like that is being put to bed. There is this. I, I think I said it in the beginning, right? Didn't I say, look who grew up or something like that? There's this elevation to your mindset in particular, since we're talking about swords. Uh, there's this there's this more mature or less wanting to be aggravated or less desire to aggravate others. And it's nice. I have to say, it's very nice. I think you're reaching a certain plateau or a certain turning point in 
either a relationship or, like I said, it's more your mental space, how you think of things, how you mm, consider or argue about certain things with people that you're just like, you know what, it's not worth it. Talking with this person about this particular topic is not worth it. Talking with this person about how I, what I believe, what my opinion is, is not worth it. Or someone's giving you this, if it's not you who's, you know, level, leveling up and becoming more mature, Libra, someone around you is doing this. Um, but I'm going to say for most of you, this is you. And it's not even you're being more mature than another person or you're taking a high road. I think some of you are like finally, not all of you, some of you are finally meeting someone where they have been, where they let it go previous and you're just like catching up to them for some of you. For others, you are maybe a step or two ahead of another person or a step ahead uh, in the dynamic between you and several other people where you're just like, okay, if you guys want to continue to argue about this, I'm going to be over here sipping on my iced tea, waiting for everybody to get some sense about themselves. And I feel that that's something that you've worked on. I feel that that is something that you have had to make a conscious effort of Libra because, you know, for, for, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you can be a shit stir. You can be someone who, you know, says things for a reaction or says things to make a point, even though you don't really care to win the argument. You just don't want the other person to think like you had no opinion or you're, you know, you had no insight. It's like, well, I also know this. And did you know that? And oh, by the way, I believe this. And they're like, okay, so you want to do something different? And you're like, no, not really. So why did you say all that stuff in the first place? Just to make a point. But you are not going to back up your argument or you're not going to insist on your point of view or you're not going to insist that we do this instead. It's like, no, I just want you to be aware that that is an option. And you really didn't care in the first place to do that option. You just wanted the other person to know, hey, that was an option. You know, so that is a tendency that you can have, Libra. You will voice an opinion even though truly you don't care. Truly, you would rather see the other person make the decision because, you know, Libra also is known for indecisiveness. Yeah, but I think you've gone against your natural tendencies to be indecisive or to allow other people to sort of guide the ship and you've decided to guide the ship. And I think that is you have a lot of action and you have a lot of people around you and it could be that. It could be maybe people have made demands of you or they've kind of influenced you. If they haven't demanded, they've influenced you or inspired you in some type of way. Because I think previous to this, or like I said, it's still your inclination, is to be uh, indecisive. And there's a little bit of it here with the two of pentacles coming beneath your starting position, yeah? So there is or was recently this stasis period where you were kind of like, oh, should I, shouldn't I, what should I do? Should I do this? Should I not do that? Da, 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 da. And you were like weighing things out and you will continue to do that as you go forward. Like I said, it's part of your personality. It's who you are. You can't avoid it. Um, but I think, I think that, and it's not, again, and it's hard to explain because I don't read always traditionally with what the book says or what we might interpret from other decks. What I'm feeling is you saw yourself like this and this is the happy tarot deck. So all of the images are kind of immature or childlike, but you saw yourself doing this. You saw yourself, you know, hemming and hawing, you know, going back and forth in your mind about something, not, not, not making practical steps towards one decision or another. And you got tired of it. Like you realized, oh my God, this is annoying. Or, oh my God, this makes me seem like I don't know what I'm doing. It makes me look like a fool or it makes me look like I am, you know, stunted. I don't have a pot to piss in in some cases. And you're just like, you didn't like this image of yourself as being caught up or hung up on something, caught up or hung up on a person, on, on a, uh, on a, in some cases, like an opportunity, like maybe someone had a, since, since it's pentacles and it's low, maybe somebody said, hey, do you want to start this project with me? Or do you want to take this trip with me? All you got to do is give me, you know, put $200 towards the hotel. And you're like, oh my God, I want to go on this trip at $200. And, blah, blah, blah. and you just didn't want to seem like, number one, you were cheap 
or number two, you, you know, something. You just didn't want to be perceived as being dissuaded or incapable of committing to something or honoring a commitment or making a decision because of some other factor. So other people may have, you know, said this to you. Oh, it seems like, you know, you don't want to make a decision or it seems like you don't know what you want. And you're like, I do. I know what I want. And so you totally made a decision. And it wasn't haphazard. It wasn't like, okay, fine. I'll just, I'll choose this. No, you actually did finally sit down and say, okay, they've got a point. I've been thinking about this for a while. I haven't made a move. It's time to make a move. Boom. And you made a move. And it's more mature. It's a, it's a, it's a grow up move it's a, or a grown up move. It's a more mature move what you're doing, which makes sense. Hello. Right next door. Queen of Wands, or excuse me, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. So your own energy, uh, swords are related to the air signs. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, yeah? So, and this is a decisive person. It very well could be you. I think for most of you, it is you. For others, you're sharing this energy with someone else. We'll talk about that in a second. But the Queen of Swords is super decisive and she is super assured of what she wants. She doesn't play games. She doesn't shit stir really most of the time she doesn't especially when she's in her high function you know she's not here for these games she's not here to bs around she means business she a boss okay and maybe that was it maybe some of you not necessarily were proposed do you want to be the boss but do you want more of a leadership role and maybe you were like hesitant you're like oh my god i'm only like 24 years old they want me to become a supervisor or you know maybe that was where your indecision was coming from i'm not sure of my own capabilities i'm not sure that i could handle these responsibilities queen of swords Again, you share this energy with your fellow air signs, very decisive, very much in a position of leadership, very much someone who has a handle on her mindset, has a handle on getting things done and executing plans and being sharp and, and, and very mm, opinionated, you know, being super opinionated, sometimes unapologetically. But again, it's more mature. Like she would probably be, in terms of age, I think she is often considered the oldest or the eldest queen uh, out of the four major suits, yeah? So you stepped up. And it's something that you don't normally do, Libra. You just normally don't step up. You don't, <laughs> you don't, there's like a little clip that they played very quickly in my head from SNL. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but you stepped up, yeah? You're getting involved. You're making decisions, you're making choices, you're being firm in what you say, you're not backtracking. A lot of times, Libra, you can backtrack, you can say, oh yeah, I'm going to do that, and then you flake out and you don't do it, or you forget that you agreed to do something, and so then you kind of get yourself in a jam. Oh, I, I said I would do that, and, and people like pull out text messages, they're like, yeah, you said, look, and you're like, oh, oh, okay, uh, all right, I'm on it. You know, so sometimes you kind of forget the promises that you make. But let me tell you something. The Queen of Swords does not forget promises. Number one, she doesn't like to make promises because it leaves her open for... <laughs> it leaves her kind of on the hook and at the mercy of other people. Um, but she means what she says. And so you're in this position of, again, you're growing up and you're developing. And I hate to make it seem like this whole time before this, you've been immature. That's not what I'm saying. In a particular situation or in a very recent period of your life, you are kind of You're putting a more mature face forward. You're still fun. You still crack jokes. You still are a shit stirrer in your heart of hearts, okay? This is not an abandonment of who you are or what makes you you, but you are putting in certain circumstances or again, in this certain period or dynamic in your life, you are being more mature about it. You want to stop the games. Games are for other times. And that's the other thing about the Queen of Swords. She delineates. Between 10 and 12 o'clock, I'm business. 1.30 to 2.30, playtime. Like she's very segmented and she's very uh, rid, uh, uh, regimented that way. So some of you might be introducing that into your lives, like a firmer schedule or having a certain time set aside for serious business, yeah? And again, if we're talking about you're a young person and you're having to step up your role in, in, in work or maybe step up your role in your house, you then 
understand, okay, if I take this job or my my roommates need more of this or I, I now have this responsibility around the house, okay, between this time and that time on these days, that's all I do. And you commit to that for now. <laughs> it might change in the future. I don't know. But anyway, so I like that for you. This is all you. This is all your progress, and that's beautiful. Now, you've got more people out here. Some of these are going to be your kids, for those who are parents. Others, this just might be people. I'm not really sure yet. Hold on. <laughs> okay. For some of you, this is you still. And you're like proud of yourself. <laughs> you're kind of like tooting your own horn. Look at me. I'm in charge. Look at me. I made decisions. Look at me. I know what I'm doing. Da da da. Nobody can tell me nothing. And that's fine. Give yourself some congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. That's absolutely cool. By the way, this is the Page of Wands. I don't think I said. Uh, Page of Wands energy. So uh, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So again, and it's a page, it might be a child of yours, so maybe your child is looking at you, maybe, you know, no offense, you've been like a deadbeat mom or a deadbeat dad previous to this, and now you're kind of stepping up your game, you're coming to see your kids, you're visiting, you're, you know, you're inviting them, not inviting them, but you're taking them out to dinners, like you're treating them like they're your kid for once, and maybe they're proud of you, so maybe you're like kind of getting this lovely smile sent to you from your kid uh, and that's for like a handful of you maybe even one of you um but i feel this is more in line with you know the page is there's still a lot of immaturity on this board because the pages are the lowest in the court cards yeah so whatever pride that you feel whatever congratulations that you're giving yourself or other people are giving to you it's warranted it's fine but it's not because you've been doing this for years and years like you're getting the initial praise is what i'm feeling initial praise for the effort that you put forward and i'm not i wouldn't say because it's young or immature energy that it's not important or that you shouldn't embrace it and welcome it, or you shouldn't continue it if you are, again, tooting your own horn. Go for that. Do that. Um, but what I would caution you with this energy is that because it is young, because it's immature, it most likely won't last. So if your kid is looking at you and is smiling at you and saying, oh, you're the best dad in the world, you're the best mom in the world, or I like when we do these things together. Okay, that's good for now. And I'm, I'm not trying to be a party pooper here, but that will die out. You know, if this kid is an adolescent or a preteen, like 10 years old, give it five years. Then, we'll, then we're going to have a different card right next to you. Okay, so be prepared that through the natural progression of the relationship or the situation at hand this page energy that's very hopeful it's very ambitious it's very ooh look and bright and shiny and it's, and it's excited about the decisions or the transitions that you're making it will eventually change into something else okay um yeah yeah now Hmm. Yeah. And I also feel more so with the knights, but not yeah, the knights, not the page. Right, okay. So the other thing about the Queen of Swords is she runs court, right? She sometimes like uh for those who are familiar, you know the play Macbeth, Shakespeare's play Macbeth. Lady Macbeth is basically the protagonist of that play. It's called Macbeth. It's supposed to be about the guy Macbeth. But really, Lady Macbeth, she pulls a lot of the strings, yeah? So the Queen of Swords, to me, is very similar to Lady Macbeth. She's pulling a lot of the strings, even though she isn't touted or isn't described as the protagonist of that play. It's not called Lady Macbeth. It is just called Macbeth. This is not the King of Swords. It's the Queen of Swords. Still, this queen... She, you, you're the queen, male or female, I don't care. You are out here putting forth 
or pushing or inviting either you're pushing these energies out or you're inviting them in either way the knight of pentacles and the knight of wands they're here to help you it, are these your intentions is this like your is this intentions messages which one number one let's get that out of the way which one first yes pentacles thank you so knight of pentacles right above you so again, you have dominion over these knights. And that makes sense, you know, if we if we think of, you know, how hierarchies work in terms of, you know, courts, you know, kings, queens, and all that good stuff, you do have dominion over this. So you might have actual dominion over a slightly younger person in terms of your work, in terms of your home life, whatever. Fi uh, Earth sign energy, so Taurus, uh, Virgo, and Capricorn. Uh, and this person... I feel like this is like a to and fro energy, yeah? This person, if it's an external energy or an external person from you, carries messages to to and fro for you. Or, so it could be like a messenger or like a, um, what do you call that? Like an assistant, you know? I need coffee, go get coffee. I need you to make copies of this, okay? Go make you know, go get the conference room ready. Do all this kind of stuff. Like this person acts on your behest in, to some degree, Libra. Um, and they do it very loyally. They're very loyal to you. Again, if this is an external person. It's not going to be this for everybody. We'll get to the internal uh, space in a second. Um, I would say you know how loyal this person is and you know how consistent they are. They're very excellent at their job. They're very excellent at accomplishing these tasks. I would say be sure to show them appreciation. There's a tendency here, not a tendency, but there's a chance here, uh, Libra, that this person is so loyal to you that they would do anything that you unconsciously or unintentionally could take advantage of them. Don't do that. When you have a moment to give them praise, to give them a compliment, to compensate them for their time and their effort, do it. Okay? Pick a kaka. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, because we didn't talk about the internal space. Duh. Uh, for those where this isn't an external person, I would feel, I feel, I would feel, I feel that you are sending and receiving messages. I'm, I'm getting text. Hardcore texts. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some of you are sending hardcore texts. I don't. They they want me to tell you that. Some of you are doing it. And I hope you know what I'm talking about. Now, uh, but like a lot of messaging. So text messages, Facebook Messenger, you know, what a, WhatsApp, all that kind of stuff, yeah? And you're doing it very directly. So again, new role in your job, lots of emails, lots of um, projects, like you're, you're using uh, shared docs and things like that. You're being really direct in your messaging, what you want, what you need, what you want to see happen in the job, what you want this project to look like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, that fidelity or that loyalty or that firmness and that predictability, like structured you're, you're well conducting or you're well conducted in your messages. You're well spoken. Like people aren't really able to uh, misinterpret what you're telling them, what you're sending to them. So this is a very reliable, whether it's an external or internal energy for you, Libra, it's very reliable. People can't miss what the hell you're trying to say. People can't fudge up your instructions. And in turn, what you get back from other people not that it's not fudged up because, you know, we can't rely on other people to, to communicate clearly. But what I'm getting is, you know the deal, you know, as, as clear as, and, and direct as you're being with other people, you're getting a lot of clarity and, 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 um, you know, sort of reliable messages back. Okay. The other knight under your dominion is the knight of wands. 
So you have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of creative ideas. You have a lot of innovative ideas. You have a lot of gumption and energy about you right now. So there is a speed. This guy, this pentacles, is normally slow. Partnered up with the Knight of Wands, he's probably moving a little bit faster. So in terms of texts and emails, that's like several a day, several an hour in some cases in the work. Or even if it's not work, it's some of those hardcore uh, text messages, yeah? <laughs> So there's a there's a fervor behind all these messages that you're exchanging or all of this uh, gopher energy for your assistant. There's like, okay, go get the coffee, pick up the dry cleaning, walk my dog, do all that kind of stuff, you know, like devil's devil wears Prada kind of stuff. Yeah, there's there's this added burst of energy um, in terms of the ideas and the messages it's really fun. It's really playful. It's really clever. You're being really clever right now, uh, uh, Libra. So, and again, that might partner in very well. Hold on. Excuse me. Oh, God. I need to clear my nose. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, that partners in well with this step up energy that you've had earlier that we were talking about. Okay. So now that you've been given the job or you've been given the opportunity to secure the job, maybe some of you are in a, not a contest, but you've applied and before you are accepted to the job or given the promotion, they want to see what you can do with this account or they want to see what kind of marketing campaign or what you would do, like what kind of, like maybe you're a content creator and maybe they want to see, okay, we want you to create a five minute viral video, go. And you're like, okay. And you, you know, you hit your creative, you get your creative flow on, right? And so you're emailing people back and forth. Oh, this guy from college used to work with, oh my God, hey, I'm working on this project. Can you help do the music? Can you do this? Can you do that? And you're pulling in favors and you're calling in assistance from other people and you're thriving on, it. not thriving, but you're, well, maybe you are, maybe some of you are thriving on it. Maybe like this is like a new burst of energy that you haven't had before and you're loving it. But there is like this chugging along and you're going at a steady pace and it's really, really good. So that can apply, like I said, in many different areas. That could be, you know, you and your kid. Like I said, this could be a, a, a kid of yours back here. I don't know. But however it goes, there's like a churning up, a, a ratcheting up of, of the energy and the frequency in which you're exchanging messages, the frequency in, in in some cases where you're actually physically going. So maybe if you're making that viral video, you're going in guerrilla style, you have no clearance or permits, so you're just like shooting video and then packing up and going to the next location, something like that, all right? Your outcome for March, beautiful. You got the magician, major arcana magician. So man, you are the maker of your own destiny right now, Libra, as above, so below, yeah? You've got all those tools at your disposal. You've got the pentacles, the swords, the wands, and the uh, cups. So you can choose your weapon, basically, or choose uh, the tools and use them as, uh, 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 as you see fit to make whatever you want a reality, yeah? So if you want to be more edgy in your, in your content creation, or you want to be more sort of authoritative and, and, and direct and be sort of mm, cunning with your, with your communications, you might rely heavily on your swords, AKA your mental and, and, and uh, vocal capacities. Yeah. As well as maybe throwing in a little bit of wands. If you want to be more, if you want to be softer and a little bit more melodic, or, sure, melodic, sure, uh, <laughs> or a little more mm, calmer, unsuspecting with your approach and how you, you know, move forward, you might use more of the cups or the pentacles energy, okay? So the choice is yours. However you want to move forward, I think you have the ability to manifest right now. Some of you might be actively manifesting. So you're writing down, you have your vision boards, you're doing conscious uh, meditations, things like this. Uh, if you're not doing that, if you're not really into all that kind of stuff, you would just be, you know, putting action behind your words. If you want to raise, you know, $5,000 for something, maybe that's a part of your job is, you know, securing 
donations and you're like, okay, I said I could do it. I'm going to do it. And you're becoming clever and you're becoming really inventive. The magician invents his opportunities. He doesn't wait for them. He creates them. Yeah. So go for it. You have the, you got the touch. You got the power. Some of you might know what that's from. <laughs> you really have that capability. Okay. Now, strangely, but I guess we'll find out when I pick this card up. Your overall energy for the month is the Nine of Wands. So, oh, and they look like little Pocky sticks, like those little Japanese snacks, yeah? Isn't that what they're called, Pockies? I think that's what they're called. I eat the Korean version, I forget what they're called. Pepporo, pepporo. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, and you got a cat nearby. Okay. Cats have been coming up. Animals have been playing a big part in these readings uh, this month, and I'm noticing them more. I don't usually notice animals in the tarot decks, but there's a cat nearby, so some of you are cat owners, and the cat is very important to you. You might be worried about the cat. You know, this 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 character looks pretty worried. Oh, come on and focus. You were so good in other videos. Oh, you jerk. Come on, friend. Something like that. I hope you can see, like, this person is just a bit distressed. I can't believe you won't focus. I hate you. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, the look on this person's face, if you can't see it from that vantage point, is pretty distressed. So some of you might be worried about your animal. Uh, but I'm getting courage. Have courage. Have faith. Have courage. Like I, like I said, many of you are stepping up to the plate in a way that you've never stepped up before. You're maturing or you're, you're, you're taking on responsibilities and, 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 and obligations that you've never taken on before or that you've previously, you know, kind of let fall by the wayside. And you might be weary and thinking, oh my God, this isn't going to work. Or, oh my God, this is too much. Can I really handle it? Yes, you can. Push through, persevere. That's what I'm feeling for you. You might have this tendency to be scared or you might have this uh, <sighs> worry that you're going to be found out. Some of you might have imposter syndrome, and especially in the workplace. I would say let that shit fall to the wayside, man. Like, don't let your responsibilities fall to the wayside. Let your worries and, and your concerns kind of fall to the wayside and find some inner strength somewhere. I don't know where it is. Maybe, you know, being close to your animals will kind of revitalize you, re-energize you. You know, I mean, they say that, right? There's all kinds of articles. People with pets tend to have less stress, things like that. So maybe some of you need to go get a cat. Maybe you have no pets in your house. Go get a cat. Cats, especially. Dogs too, of course, uh, but any any pet really, uh, even plants, uh, have these symbiotic relationships with us, yeah. And they, as much as we provide for them, they provide for us in ways that you know we can't really identify uh, on the on the regular basis, yeah. So that's just something that I know from reading all kinds of articles is that when you have a life with pets, you're usually a more not well rounded, but you're emotional self is just a lot more even keeled okay libra that's your reading for march guys did you like it if you did there's a like button down there you want to go ahead and hit that for me it lets me and youtube know you had a good time here uh, also down there you will see the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and you think you want to keep coming back and you want to see my content hit that button and the notification bell that would be amazing uh, also down there is the comment section. If you want to tell me how this uh, reading resonated with you, I'd love to read about that. I'd love to see how my work helps you guys or how it you know applies to your life. That would be cool. Uh, and you can also share this video across your social media platforms. That would be cool. It lets you know other people know on different platforms that I'm out here doing this work. And uh, yeah, it also shows great support. So I'm all down for that. If you don't want to do any of those things, I'm also down for that because I don't believe in forcing people to do anything they don't want to, okay? Libra, I will be back in about three to four weeks when I bring you your April 2019 readings. Until then, guys, I thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. Bye.